guys welcome back okay so today i wanted to play in this brand new palette that juvie's place came out with if you haven't heard about it it's called the wahala 2 they did come out with the wahala palette i don't know was it earlier this year i don't know it was a while back ago and i really really love that palette and i was really excited to see them come out with a wahala 2. and as i was reading the information on the website i was like whoa okay that really describes this palette and i wanted to create a look that kind of embodied the colors that are in this palette so hopefully i came close you guys but this is what the wahala 2 looks like she's absolutely gorgeous when i first saw this palette you know launched or when I first saw the pictures of this palette I was like whoa that's a lot of blue for one palette but then I kind of looked closer and it was like there's some beautiful you know deep dark like cobalt type blues the beautiful teals and this gorgeous orange section over here the warm section the beautiful silvers I mean it's definitely a bright bold colorful dramatic palette and that's right up my alley as you guys know but what I want to do is I want to go ahead read you some information about this palette just so you know you're familiar with how they came up with the theme for this palette so it says here the Wahala 2 palette lets you unleash your fiercest and most intense eyeshadow looks with its array of 30 new bold and beautiful shades, including different beautiful shimmers, duochromes with the finest pearls, finely milled glitters, and matte textures. So there are a lot of different textures in this palette. The Wahala is a Nigerian pigeon word meaning drama, trouble, and intensity. We were heavily inspired by the craftsmanship of the Festac mask with a twist, which embodies the first Iyoba, also known as Queen Mother of the Benin Empire. A mask must come to life by the wearer of the mask to symbolize a mood or a feeling. We take a journey through different color families from icy cold silvers to periwinkle and aquamarine blue greens. The party begins with our beautiful orange and maroon shades, all of which symbolize an intense feeling and emotion that comes with a dramatic event. So I'm here for it, okay? I really am. You guys know I love Juvia's Place's eyeshadow palettes. And for me, it's like the bolder, the better. I love them. So this is the eye look I created today using the Wahala 2 eyeshadow palette. Of course, at this point, I've said it before, I'm not really into all of the pressed glitters in palettes because I have my own glitter collection. I don't need additional glitters in a palette. So that's something that really doesn't excite me. It doesn't bother me too much in a palette this large because it doesn't take away from the other sh shadows. But I really would prefer not to have the glitters. I think that is really cool that she put duochromes in here. I was pretty surprised. You know, of course, I played with some of the colors on my lids. Absolutely gorgeous. The mattes blended out super easily, built up nicely. I think that it's basically your typical better Juvia's Place formula because I know some of her palettes the formula is not as good as other palettes but I think this is a really nice palette nice formula love the shimmers and I love the color story and the whole design and theme behind it I mean the packaging absolutely gorgeous sorry about the lights you guys but just the mask on here absolutely beautiful and just the whole color story I love. So if you'd like to see how I created this look today using the Wahala 2, stay tuned because it's coming up next. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and get started. Yes, we are playing in this beautiful Wahala 2 palette today. So, so pretty. So I'm gonna start out this look using the shade ASAP or ASAP. Really gorgeous dark brown shade. And I'm taking a fluffy brush and just focusing that in my crease area. I knew I wanted this color to kind of be the base for this eye look and it worked out just fine. As you can see, I'm just gently building it up and buffing it out in my crease. Nothing fancy, but I really, really like this color. It's very pretty. 
Now I also wanted to play around with Wasted a little bit. It's the orange shade in the palette. I didn't want a bright orange look or a really bright orange pop. I just wanted something to kind of soften up that brown a bit and just kind of blend out the edge of that brown. So it might seem like it's not very pigmented, but I'm really just going in and picking up a very, very small amount of that orange, just so you can see it, but not so much that it's overpowering for this look. And as you can see, it's blending out beautifully. Now I'm going in with some of my NYX glitter glue before I put some shimmers on my lid. I just wanna make sure they stick nicely. So the first shimmer I'm going into is Money. Really, really pretty. It's kinda of like a blue and green duochrome type shimmer. Very, very pretty. It kinda of has an aqua look to it. It worked out really nicely on top of this glitter glue. As you can see, I'm just tapping it on. Next, I'm going into the shade Dope. Really gorgeous blue shimmer shade. Tapping that right next to Money and just kind of gently blending those two shades together until they kind of look like a nice mixture of, you know, that aqua and that cobalt blue. Very, very pretty. I will play around with these shimmers more to see how they lay down without a glitter glue and maybe with just spraying my brush. Next, I'm going into Amiibo. I think that's how you pronounce it, Amiibo. Very, very pretty purple shimmer. It's like a royal purple. Gorgeous. And that blended in really nicely right next to that blue. So I'm just tapping it on the outer corner so I can get that three color look on my lid. Next, I decided to go in with one of my MBA Cosmetics Water Activated Liners. This is a really bright orange shade. Um, it might even be neon now that I think about it. <laughs> but it's the shade Revolution. I love these water activated liners. They're so fun to play with. They're not always the easiest to lay down um, when your lashes get in the way, <laughs> but I really like them. I think they add a really nice pop of color to you know your eye looks when you really wanna kinda be daring or adventurous and they're very affordable. Next, I'm going in with my Profusion Liner. This is the Cobalt Blue. I actually need another one. This one is getting low. Very, very pretty. I love this color blue. It goes really nicely with a lot of the eye looks that I do, so I use it quite often. Now, to smoke out that lower lash line, I'm going in with this beautiful matte blue shade, which is Dream. So that's like a Cobalt Blue matte shade and as you can see it's super duper pigmented match perfectly with that eyeliner and i really really love how that turned out it's so so pretty now for my inner corner pop i decided to do something a little bit different this is the shade period <laughs> with a t period and it is an orange shimmer shade you guys so i decided to go ahead and take that orange shimmer and just tap that right in my inner corner just to kind of add a little bit to go along with that orange liner and I think they complemented each other very nicely this eye look of course is not for everybody it's not for the faint at heart <laughs> but I really drew inspiration from this palette as well as my headscarf today now I wanted to go ahead and play around with one of these elf putty blushes for you guys I'm using the shade Fiji and I'm just taking it on a damp sponge, very lightly damp sponge. And as you can see, just going in, tapping it on my cheek, just to get that nice gentle flush of color. I am really, really loving these cream and putty type blushes. I really like how they just leave that nice, healthy, colored glow on your face. It's just so, so pretty. So yeah, I really love it. Now, of course, I decided to go for a bold lip today, you guys. So trying out one of my crayon case matte liquid lipsticks. This is the blue one in the shade Presidential. And <laughs> yeah, I'm lining my lips first because I didn't want this blue lipstick to get all over my face. So I am lining it with my Profusion Liner. But yeah, this color matched exactly <laughs> with my lower lash line. I mean, I could not have matched those blues any better. 
I really like it. Like I said, I know this look is not for everybody, but if you are familiar with me or my channel, you know that I definitely love to play around with bold colors and take risks. So <laughs> this is the look for today, you guys. I went ahead and put on some of my orange earrings, which are from DJ's Unique Boutique. Link is down in my description box below. Definitely check her boutique out and grab you something hot. But I really like it. You guys let me know what you think. I really enjoyed using this palette. Not surprised at all. I love Juvia's Play Shadows. But I really, really like the color scheme for this palette and how everything came together. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. And I will see you on my next video. Toodles!